welcome back to Eurosport's coverage of the 23rd IAAF World Cross Country Championships from Durham in England. That's the uh, course for the junior women. They don't do that blue loop, that's only for the senior men. They've got two laps of uh, 2,000 metres plus 470 metres, as you can see, just under four and a half kilometres for the junior women. The Kenyans, well, very, very strong in this race, as they have been so many times in the past over the years. Provided the uh, individual winner last year with Sally Barsocio. Quite possibly will provide the uh, individual winner today. The wind very, very strong, as you can see. There's uh, various flags of the IAAF nation blowing strongly, almost out horizontal. There is the uh, result over the last few years. Kenyans lifting three individual titles since 1991. Paula Radcliffe will be running in the senior women's race later on in the afternoon. She took gold in Boston back in 1992 in the snow, Paula Radcliffe. She's had a lot of injuries since then over the last three years, Radcliffe, but very much a world-class runner. And one of the women who later on this afternoon stands a very good chance of taking an individual medal in that senior women's race. The uh, youngster from Bedford, currently at Loughborough University. But this is Durham. These are playing fields at Maiden Castle, almost within sight of the famous city of Durham, the Cathedral City, where John Solly beside me was at university. And the uh, junior women's race in the middle stages now. As you can see, group broken away. And Marie Sandel, the 18-year-old Finn, number 91 there, looking very, very comfortable as ever. Good, strong Kenyan presence in that lead group. And after only seven minutes of running, just look how spread out that field are. Always a similar pattern to any race when there are Kenyans involved. They run hard from the gun, don't they, John? Yeah, they do indeed. It's funny, these uh, junior races, I always think of the ones which have the agents salivating. These are the ones where the agents can see where the stars of the future are going to come from, where they're... Well, Porter Radcliffe has <coughs> certainly been one of the winners of the... Uh, Junior Championship in, in previous years has gone on to, to do great things. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this race. Well, other athletes up in that lead group, Chet Chumba. He was only seventh in the Kenyan Junior Championships, but uh, going very well at the moment. In red there, number 235, is Anita Vireman. Only 17 years old Vireman. Marvellous, marvellous talent. Last summer won the World Junior 1500 meters title in Lisbon. Took gold there over uh, 1500 meters, and he's going very strongly here as well. Japanese are packing well, very well, aren't they? I mean, they look to have virtually every runner between about 10 and 20 there. Japanese going well, Aris Bram of uh, Britain. First youngsters go through there. 116, also moving through for Britain is uh, Nikki Slater, coached by Harry Wilson. Heidi Mulder also looking good, but uh, eight minutes on the clock. Very short indeed, this race, really. Only four and a half kilometers. They'll only be running for around 15 minutes. But at the moment, the Kenyans with what? One, two, three, four, five in that lead group of nine. Vireman of Switzerland in the red, uh, also to the four. Sandel looking very strong. She's a useful runner, Sandel. Has uh, been around for some time now as regards actual experience. Stayed with Patrick Sang uh, this last winter. He's actually ran 10th in the Kenyan Junior Cross Country Championship. So like John and I in years gone by, has made uh, use of Kenya as a training venue and is benefiting from it here. Interesting, John, to see so many of the Kenyan women and uh, the youngsters running in bare feet, when of course they would have the option of running in spikes, but that's what they're more familiar with. Yeah, um, it's funny because it's apparently standard procedure for the, uh, the shoe company to provide them with kit, to provide them with shoes, but it's sort of, it's apparently um, Kenyan team practice that those spikes uh, that aren't used in the cross-country race are still given to them and then they're passed on to uh, um, runners back at home. Good example of uh, the way in which the Kenyans operate. They give each other hands up. Well, this leading trio beginning to uh, open up a bit of daylight on their pursuers. One six one there, Jet Korea Ayebe from Kenya, marginally in front from Sandel on the far side. Spent seven weeks training in Kenya, Sandel. Indeed, in Durham has been staying with the Kenyan team, so has obviously become firm friends with several members of that squad. And a lot of it has rubbed off. Look at that, the gap between this trio and the pursuers is growing all the time. What, about 40 or 50 metres now? Yeah, it's a rare sight, isn't it, Tim? A, a Kenyan in the lead group, but outnumbered by non-Kenyans. Looks like we might have quite a race here. Well, of course, uh, the Kenyans 
as regards women's running in the senior ranks, not as strong in depth as the men. Cultural reasons for that. Sandell and Vyman here, up against leading Kenyan Ayaman. Doing a good job for Europe. What a talent Vyman is. Does a lot of skiing in the uh, off-season. Looking as though she's put on a bit of weight to me, muscle I should say, since the World Junior Championships last summer when she looked so good in that 1500 metres in Lisbon. Sandell, not aesthetically the most uh, attractive runners to look at, but covers the ground very, very effectively in, indeed. And has been at the front since the early stages of this race. Of the Ethiopians coming through there, number 95. Uh, or 85 is it, that's Taye of Ethiopia in fourth place, but uh, a couple of, East of uh, Kenyans on her heels. Bathed in glorious sunshine at the moment. Towards the latter stages of this Junior Women's World Cross Country Championship event. And Sandel now beginning to impose herself on that leading trio. One senses a slight acceleration from her, maybe she senses fatigue in her two companions. Vyman working very hard to go with the Finn. My goodness, what a tradition the Finns have in distance running, although it's been uh, somewhat weakened with their record over the last 10 years or so. I wonder if today is their time for glory. Lassie Viren, of course, the greatest of uh, Finnish names in recent years. Sandell, perhaps the next one on the women's side. Certainly looks to be heading for an individual medal. But Ayebe for uh, Kenya, putting down a very, very strong challenge here in bare feet. Vyman beginning to suffer, John. They're tough, aren't they, uh, Tim? I mean, uh, um, the Finnish woman there threw down the gauntlet. Well, they've got rid of Wyman. Wow, oh, my goodness, she's wobbling a bit all over the place. Um, but to concentrate back on the leaders there, I mean, it looked like uh, Fandel was, was pulling away from the Kenyan woman, and bang, the Kenyan woman comes straight back. So this might be a bit of a, a tactical mistake, actually. I think this is the windiest part of the course. You can see Pandel just looking around over her shoulder. Looks very comfortable, just tucked in behind. I think the Kenyan woman might have made a mistake there. Well, Jebot Kaitani, in fact, that Kenyan. Sandel tucked in behind her, as you said, looking very, very composed at the moment. And yes, I think in the slipstream there of the Kenyan. So there's a quick glance over her shoulder just to see what this leading is doing, if it's doing any damage to her companion. But it certainly isn't. No, Sandel. Pandel, she looks very comfortable, doesn't she? 3.14, that last kilometre, just uh, around a minute of running to go. Is Vyman in real trouble. The young Swiss girl has lost a lot of ground on that leading duo in the last couple of minutes. 161 coming through to the bronze medal position. That is Ayebe. So the Kenyans with uh, three in the leading five. The European challenge though, being held up by, by uh, Sandel. She is a good class runner, Sandel. Only 18. She's run 851 for 3,000 meters. Has run 32.55 for 10,000. So has both speed and strength. And this is where she needs it, and this is where she's showing it. Look at this. Sandell, what an acceleration for a youngster. Bursting away from the Kenyan there. 164 Jebwat Kaitani seems powerless to respond to that surge. The gap between these two and the pursuers is big, but there's a growing gap between the leader, Sandell of Finland and Kaitani. Grimacing for the first time, Sandell, with the effort of this surge covering the ground very very efficiently strong legs not a fluent runner but that doesn't matter this is cross country and it's all about strength and determination and she takes gold and has shown those two qualities amply wonderful running then gold for finland in the junior women's race kaitani taking the silver there seems pretty happy with that 165 nancy kipron coming through with a late challenge for the bronze medal the kenyans my goodness two three and four in the junior women's race vireman there almost Collapsing on the line, very, very tired indeed, the young Swiss. 82 goes through there for Ethiopia as Vyman's in real trouble. More Ethiopian vests go through. Looks like the Ethiopians will take the uh, silver medals in the team race. Remember, it's four to score in this race. Dagne, I think that was in her fifth place. And Vyman in real trouble there for Switzerland. What a committed little runner she is. Remember, she's a world champion on the track in her own right. And that's the sort of commitment that she's prepared to give. Wow, but yeah, that's... I mean, she looked to be out for the cat. When she came off the back of the group there, she looked in trouble, and she had a, what I think, about a K to go, and she has run herself out. Alice Brahm there, coming through for uh, Britain. Good running for her. The Americans also with the two or three vets in the top 20. Linford Christie helping her, I think, there, uh, Tim. That, I, I am so impressed with that. That's such a gutsy run. 
Such a gutsy run. I mean, she must have been heavily in oxygen debt when she came off the back of that group. There's the leading eight in the Women's World Junior Cross Country Championships for 1995. Gold, silver and bronze for Finland and Kenya, respectively. Sandel leading the European Challenge and uh, stopping the Kenyans, making a clean sweep of individual medals at these World Cross Country Championships. But the Kenyans are so strong in the team race. Look at that. All six of their athletes in the top 14. The Japanese packing very well, too. Look at that. Four of them in the top 16 there, and, and I think they had a runner in the top eight as well, John. So the team race will be interesting to see exactly what does happen there. No doubt about it, the Kenyans have taken team gold, but they couldn't take the individual gold. That belongs to Anna-Marie Sandel, the 18-year-old Finn. She was 14th in 1992, hasn't run it for the last couple of years, but what a talent she's blossomed into. Finishes down the middle order of the field there. Do stay with us. We're going to a break shortly. We'll be uh, coming back to the men's junior race and then live coverage of the senior women. Ruskilpailussa Englannissa suurimmat suomalaistoiveet kohdistuivat tyttöjen kilpailuun. Anne-Mari Sandel lähti matkalle Keniassa seitsemän viikkoa kestäneen harjoitusjakson päätteeksi. Maastojuoksun MM-kisoja pidettiin etukäteen afrikkalaisjuoksijoiden jäsenten välisenä voimaankoitoksena. Näin kävikin yhtä poikkeusta lukuun ottamatta. Tyttöjen sarjassa Kalanin 18-vuotias Anne-Mari Sandel otti heti paikkansa kärkijoukosta. 4,47 kilometrin matkalla Sandelin lisäksi Sveitsin Anita Weierman löi kiilaa kenialaisrintamaan ennen loppuratkaisuja. Merkille pantavaa oli afrikkalaisten paljasjalkainen esiintyminen Englannin vaihtelevissa maastoissa. Mestaruuden ratkaisivat Suomen Sandel ja Kenian Zeplobolt Keitani. Nyt alkaa loppukirivaiheet. Tiukkaa taistelua käydään. 300 metriä matkaa maaliin. Nyt ilman kiikaria näen Annemarin ja kenialaisen tulevan. Ja Annemari kiihdyttää askelta ja painaa kenialaisen ohi. Ja siltä näyttää, että maailmanmestaruus tulee Suomeen. En olisi millään uskonut. Lopulta Annemari Sandel tyttöjen maailmanmestaruuteen viiden sekunnin erolla. Sandellin lisäksi kukaan toinen eurooppalainen ei tänään kyennyt rikkomaan afrikkalaisten voitojuhlia. Tyttöjen sarjassa kolme seuraavaa sijaa meni Keniaan, poikien voiton vei Etiopian Assefe Metskebu, naisissa juhli Etiopian Derartu Tulu ja miesten voiton vei odotetusti Kenian Paul Terkat. <tos> 